Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a scan mesh menu with Elementor Pro. This is an example of the scan mesh menu that we are going to design. So let's start now. First of all, let's start with the header design. Go to admin. Click on theme below. Add new. Select header. You can keep any name to your header. Select two columns. This one is the site title and you can add icon to this section. Align it right. You could change the color and size of the icons as per your need. Just change font family and other things. Enable it on the entire site. So our header is ready now. After this, we need to create a menu for our website. So you can go to Appearance, click on Menus. Let's name it Main Menu. Menu. Uh, I will add all these pages to my menu. You can assign menu to the theme location depending on your theme. In this theme, primary menu is used for the main menu. So I'm going to assign this to the primary location. Click on save menu. Our menu is ready now. After menu, we need to create a pop-up using theme builder of Elementor. To create a pop-up, click on templates and then pop-up, click on add new pop-up, we can call it vertical menu, create template, you can either choose templates from this layout or Use your own templates. So I'm going to use my own layout. I can close it. To change the settings of pop-up, you need to click on this icon. Please remember this is at the left corner. You can change the width of the pop-up from here. Let's assign 340 pixel for now. To change the height, you can see there are three options you can choose fit to screen let the content position be at the top you can change horizontal position of the pop-up according to your need it can be either left center or right as we have our menu on the right 
I'm going to select the right position for our pop-up. You can leave vertical position for center as we already have assigned our content position on the top so it will have no effect on this so let it be at the center you can leave overlay and close button for now after this we need to add map menu to our pop-up window to add map menu click on this icon select the structure search map menu from here and drag it to the pop-up window so select main menu from drop down as we need a vertical layout you can change it to the vertical layout align it to the left you can enable or disable pointer as per your need for now i'm going to disable it as we do not need the drop down for mobile devices you can disable it after you assign menu you can click on publish button here we do not need any condition or any rules so click on save and close button now exit to dashboard I'll go to theme builder edit main header with elementor you can click on this icon so click on dynamic text for this icon and find pop-up you can see the option for frame pop-up here you can click on open pop-up you can select this pop-up that we have recently created that is vertical menu and update it let us check the progress here this is the menu that we have created it has no animation effect so to add animation let us go to wp admin click on pop-ups edit with elementor and click on this setting icon you can find animation options here click on fade in right as we have pop-up windows at the right section for exit animation you can select fade out right you can change the, the animation duration to 0 0.6 or any time you need you required so you can again skip this condition and click on save and close button and see the changes here so you can see animation here after the animation we can change the color of overlay size of the close button and other settings as well so let's start with the overlay now click on style tab and overlay you can select any color as per your need and i recommend you to use the transparency zero so that you can see the back end or back side of the website now go to close button select the portion inside or outside of the window it is good to select it inside the windows and you can change the vertical position of the button as per your need so let's start with 2% from the top and 4% from the right you can change, also change the color of close icon let us start say let, let us make it white as we are going to change the background of this uh, windows to black so it can be white leave the background transparent and assign the size to 20 pixel 
after this we can change the background of the pop-up window we can click here and make it black okay it's black now and to click on to change the color of the navigation item you can click here and change the text color to white you can update the changes click on save and close see the progress Can also change the size of the size and font of the navigation item. Let us assign the name Railway Font. Point pixel. Hundred. Four hundred. Can assign it sixteen pixel. See the changes here. Okay, now we can add more section below the navigation. We can add some about a section. Change the color of this title to white. Change typography to railway font. And also assign padding to align it with the navigation item so let's assign 20 on the left now you can add text you can style the text color to white typography to railway change size to 15 pixel and also add padding to the left to align it with other items after the about us text we can add social icon as shown in the demo drag it to the pop-up window you can assign social icon from here so let's assign four social icon for now. You can also change shape of this social icon to round, square, or circle. Let us use square for now and align them to right, oh sorry, left. To style social icon, you can go to style tab and change the style of the social icons. To change the color, you can use either custom color or official color click on custom color change primary color to white and secondary color to black you can also change the size of the social icon from here so let us say assign 20 pixel for our social icons you can assign spacing between two social icons from this section so let us give 8 pixel spacing from one to another social icon to align them with other elements you can assign padding 20 pixel to left and update the setting this is how our off canvas menu looks like So if you have, guys have any questions or feedback, please comment below. I'll try my best to answer your questions as far as possible. Thank you once again for watching this video.